a very good morning to our respected manager sister maggie principal sister monica supervisor sir neil sisters teachers and all my dear friends today we are going to reflect on the life of sister fernanda riva sister fernanda riva was a roman catholic nun of canossian daughters of charity congregation she was born on 17th april 1920 in monza italy she was the fourth child of her parents and had come to bring joy to her parents fernanda was baptized 4 days after her birth fernanda was just a 3 months old where his father expired leaving his young widow wife to bring up four children the eldest of whom was 9 years of age her dad was a remarkable active personality in the parish he left when he was about to assume the responsibility of bringing up a family although fernanda did not have the joy of experiencing the love of her father during her lifetime she was remarkably like her father fernanda's mother was a fervent christian deeply rooted in her faith dedicated entirely in bringing up her family she accepted all things as part of god's plan fernanda's aunt influenced her greatly by their good examples the daily attendance of the eucharist and reception of the sacraments visiting the sick and helping the needy fernanda was 6 years when she was admitted in standard first she was composed tranquil and attentive in her class her books remain as models for several years fernanda would participate in everything with joyful and enthusiastic spirit having completed the primary school in 1931 she enrolled in high school year 2 she was much appreciated by the professors and companions she was modest has sweet ways a smiling face and was ever ready to help her companions fernanda's special joy was to attend the sunday school conducted by the canossian sisters it was here fernanda was drawn to high ideals she joined the canossian missionary novitiate in vimakate milan on 19th march 1939 A few months later she was sent to India and arrived in Mumbai on 30th October 1939. She continued her first formation at St Joseph's Convent Belgaum where she pronounced her first vows on 24th December 1941. She completed her BA BA at the colleges in Belgaum from 1943 to 1947 and came to mumbai for a masters degree in education from july 1950 to september 1953 sister fernanda served kanosa high school mahim first as a teacher and then as principal she was fondly loved and respected by the students staff sisters and people around In September 1953 Sister Fernanda was transferred to St Joseph's Convent LP Kerala to start the St Joseph College for women there and take over as its first principal This took a good good bit of her energy to supervise the construction and equipment of the college Within a year in 1954 she fell ill and was sent for check up to mumbai she was admitted to st elizabeth's nursing home and was operated upon by the late dr arthur in september 1954 she seemed to recoup and under the doctor's advice returned to lp after a month on 30th october 1954 however on 6th january 1956 she had to be rushed back to mumbai because of her illness which turned out to be cancer this time 
it struck her fatally the doctors were touched by her serenity and faith she has a kind word a smile a gesture of concern for those sisters and hospital staff who attended on her and gratitude for all she breathed her last on 22nd jan 1956 she is a saint could be heard among the crowd gathered at her funeral she was buried in the cemetery of saint michael's church mahim she was raised as servant of god on 13th august 1994 by the eminence simon cardinal pimenta on 28th june 2012 she was declared venerable by pope benedict 16 let us pray through her intercession for all the people who are sick all around the world Jesus humble flower God chose you for his own and filled you with his power to make his secrets known Displaying a practical mind 